Hi and welcome to another Majestic.Cloud video. I am Laszlo and today I'm going to show you another way to load uh, CSV files from S3 into Redshift. In one of my earlier videos I've shown you how to load CSV files into Redshift uh, using uh, AWS Glue. Now uh, we are going to look at a simpler approach that uses the copy command. This copy command is issued in a SQL client connected to the Redshift cluster. But let's not waste any more time and let's see how it's done. So I have this um, Redshift cluster here composed of uh, one node and I'm going to use a SQL Workbench to connect to this um, uh, cluster. So this is a SQL Workbench. You see that I'm connected to this cluster here and I will use the database explorer to show you what this cluster has. Uh, at the moment it has only one table. It's called sales records and uh, this, has the, this table has the following columns. Um, if you look at the data then uh, it's, it's empty. It has zero rows. Now what I want to do is I want to load uh, a CSV file. I have it opened here. It looks like this. It has the same structure, the same columns as my uh, table in Redshift. And this is a fairly a large file. It has 150,000 records. Uh, I also loaded this uh, file into S3 uh, so it will be quicker to do this demo and you see it has 178 uh, uh, megabytes. Now um, how can we load this file into uh, S3? First of all we need to create uh, either some access keys or an IAM role uh, to allow the uh, loading of the data using the copy command. So there are two ways to uh, uh, use the copy command, either by role-based access control, either by key-based access control. So uh, role-based uh, requires to, uh, that we create a role and attach it to the Redshift cluster and uh, key-based access control requires us for us to create an access key ID and the secret access key and use this to uh, load the data using the copy command. I will demo both ways so you know how to do this uh, with uh, both approaches. Let's start with uh, key based <coughs> access control. So for this uh, we'll go to IAM and we'll create a user. I will call it S3 load and I will allow programmatic access for this user. Uh, next I need to define the permissions. Here I will attach an existing policy and this will be the S3 read-only access. Here you can fine-tune your access and uh, even use a custom policy but for now I will give it S3 read-only access and this should work. So <coughs> let's create this user. So I have here this uh, these uh, credentials. As you probably know these uh, credentials are not meant to be shared with anyone so I will delete these uh, credentials after I finish this video um, but let's go and uh, start using these to load the file so first we will go to SQL Workbench and we'll start writing our query <coughs> for copying the file so this will look something like this copy um, here it comes the name of the table. So I have the table name sales records and I will uh, say copy sales records from <coughs> and here we need to give it the S3 path. Um, my bucket is named load CSV from S3 and the file is uh, sales records CSV. Okay then um, we'll need to provide the access key access key ID 
Okay, let me copy it from here. Okay, so access key ID, then secret access key, and let's copy this one as well. I paste it here and then we will need to provide a few parameters uh, first of all the delimiter in my case the delimiter is comma but you might have a delimiter different than a comma it could be a semicolon or a tab or something else I will also say ignore header uh, this is because um, the first line in my CSV is the header information the, head the column names so I want to ignore the first line so for this uh, you say ignore header one and then I also have some um, <coughs> date time uh, date columns actually and I want uh, mm, him to recognize the format automatically so for that I will issue time format uh, auto and uh, this should be the copy command for for uh, this file and let's run it and I already have an error yeah I shouldn't have put here the equal sign I always get uh, confused by this so it's just uh, without the equal sign and let's issue it again and now it seems to work so I I ra rarely use this um, uh, this way of using the key based access control because uh, this is the less recommended way the recommended way is the role based uh, access control so we'll demo next that one but before that let's see uh, what our uh, load command uh, did so it loaded one and a half million records uh, successfully let's go here and uh, look at the table I will issue a refresh here and you can see that I have uh, one and a half million records loaded into uh, this table so that's all nice my data is here I can query it now if I want to but uh, I will just uh, delete it I will use truncate because I want to load the data again with uh, role based access control so for that we will need to go and um, um, create an IAM role and uh, we'll do here the uh, create role we need to choose here the service that we use the role will be redshift and here we choose redshift customizable and uh, here we want to select s3 uh, not full access but read only access so my redshift cluster will have read only access to uh, s3 next add a no tax and i will uh, give it a name s3 access for redshift let's create the role now um, I will need to go uh, to redshift and um, modify my cluster what I need to do here is to uh, attach the IAM role and uh, here we, I have this role that I've created S3 access for redshift and uh, let's add the IAM role and click on done and uh, this uh, it is taking a while uh, let's wait for it and resume the video so it seems my uh, cluster uh, modified now I will need to go back to IAM and grab the role RN this one here I will copy it because I will need to use this in my query so let's go back to SQL Workbench and here I will replace this part where I use the access key and the secret access uh, key and I will say I am role and here 
I will just put in the <coughs> rule RN and now my um, um, my copy command should work because my um, Redshift cluster has access to read-only access to S3 so let's run the command and it's now executing and it loaded uh, successfully the um, uh, one and a half million records let's go back to uh, the database explorer and uh, refresh and you can see that uh, my uh, data is here so these are the two uh, ways you can load um, the um, data with copy into your um, uh, redshift cluster from S3 uh, I recommend you to use this approach with IM role and don't bother with uh, uh, access key ID and secret access key. Uh, you should use that one only in limited uh, scenarios. So I hope you liked this video and if you did please uh, uh, give it a like, um, share it uh, and subscribe to Majestic.cloud to stay updated whenever I release a new video. So that being said, have a nice day and see you in the next video.